Na, Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? I'll take a look. I'm gonna take a look with you. Poor guy. Well, well. Company's come. He's alive. <laughs> Ain't the first time I've been mistaken for a corpse when I've been asleep. Name's Bones Reese. How do you two be called? Oh, I'm Joy Newton, and this is Packy Lambert. I never expected anybody to drop by. That's why I decided to settle here. You gonna make your home here? Why, the whole world's my home, Packy. I'm sort of a traveling man, a full-fledged member of the Brotherhood of Hobos. I go where I want, do as I please. You mean you got nobody to make you do anything? A hobo's as free as an eagle, my son. Well, we're not eagles, Packy, and we got work to do. Well, now, nobody ever accused Bones Reese of trying to stop somebody else from working. But if you ever feel like dropping by for a bit of chinning, I expect I'll be here for a couple of days. Let's go, Pat. Made. Got what made? Eating out of tin cans and wearing raggedy clothes? What's wrong with that if you can live like an eagle? What a life. Go to bed when you wanna, get up when you wanna. Never getting pestered by your folks. No teachers telling you what to do. You know, I wouldn't mind being a hobo myself. Well, you better get that notion out of your head. Hobo is just a fancy word for tramp. And you don't want to be a tramp, do you? Of course not. Well, then you better forget about that Bones Reese and all that talk about eagles. With the schools we're going to today, we've got every chance in the world of making good. And not ending up like him. I guess you're right, Joey. Come on. Hiya, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm home. Hiya, partner. Have a good day at school? The best. This is for you and Mom. What is it? It's an invitation to come to visiting day. Took me a whole day to make it. Packy, it's a work of art. Listen, Chris. Dear Mother and Dad, it's American Education Week. You are cordially invited to attend visiting day at your school as guests of... Your loving son, Packy. Packy, it's a wonderful invitation. Even if cordially should be spelled with a C instead of a K. It should. Oh, well, you got the message anyhow. When is it? Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. What night? Tuesday. Wait till you see how our room's fixed up. I'm in charge of all the decorations. You're coming, aren't you, Dad? Well, all you are, aren't you? Golly, Packy, your mother and I hate to disappoint you, but we'll be tied up in Capital City Tuesday night. Does it have to be Tuesday? You can go some other night, can't you? I'm afraid not, son. Your mother promised Aunt Mary she'd help her with a new baby, and I've got to go to the livestock meeting that night. There's another auction next month. Couldn't you skip this one, please? We need a good milk cow, Packy, and they're auctioning one off. Next month, they might have nothing but a bunch of scrubs. If visiting day were any other night, Packy, you know we'd be glad to go. But I was counting on you going, both of you. Now you're letting me down. You always let me down. Hey, where do you think you're going? Your school's the other way. I'm not going to school. Oh, if you get caught playing hooky, you're going to be in plenty of hot water. It's easy for you to talk. Jim and Peter going a visiting day with you. They never let you down. Well, your folks would never let you down either. And if they did, well... Well, they'd make it up to you in some other way. 
Now, come on, you're going to school. Well, okay, then I'll take you there. I can handle Lucky by myself. You better get moving. Your class has started already. Now I'm gonna have a time explaining to my teacher why I'm late. I'm sorry, Joey. I didn't mean to drag you in on my problem. Oh, it's okay. What are pals for? Well, go on. Bye. I'm very pleased that you all remembered to give your parents the invitation to visiting day. Now, just for the record, when I call your name, answer whether or not your parents will attend. Billy Andrews. They'll be here, Miss Slater. Fine. Ann Barrows. My parents are coming, too, Miss Slater. They said they wouldn't miss visiting day for anything. I'm certain everybody's parents feel exactly the same way. Join the hobos. You want to what? Join the hobos. I'll pull up a seat. You know, it's not easy to get to be a hobo. First, you got to take the secret oath. I'm ready. So's Lucky. He wants to be a hobo too. Lucky? Who's he? Him, my horse. <laughs> That'd be a new one. First hobo horse in history. <laughs> if it costs anything, I got plenty of money. See? I saved it up. Almost four dollars. You put that back in your pocket. Aren't you gonna let me join? Well, it ain't easy being a hobo, Packy. You gotta take some tests to prove you're worthy of the brotherhood before I can give you the oath. Well, let's get going. I'm ready. Well, as soon as I finish my breakfast. I never swear in new hobos on an empty stomach. Especially a horse. I don't know what's got into Packy lately. He gathered the eggs all right, but left them outside the coop. We both know what's bothering him, Chris. We were pretty hard on him last night. He'll get over it, Stella. I'm not so sure. He hardly touched his breakfast. And last night, he cried himself to sleep. Well, I didn't think visiting day meant so much to him. That's just the trouble with both of us. We didn't think. He put his whole heart into this invitation. We stepped on it. Your loving son, Packy. You can't pick that up at an auction, Chris. I'm so anxious to make this the best paying ranch in the valley that sometimes I forget why I'm doing it. It's for Packy, isn't it? I wish you'd shut my mouth and open my eyes when I turned you down last night. Well, I didn't think either. But it isn't too late. You bet it isn't. Where are you going? To school. Mr. Lambert, this is a pleasant surprise. Sorry to interrupt your class, Miss Slater, but I wanted you to know that my wife and I will be here on visiting day. That's very thoughtful of you. That will give us 100% attendance. I'd sure like to tell that to Packy. Mind if I speak to him a minute? I don't understand, Mr. Lambert. Packy isn't here. I assumed he was at home sick. You mean he hasn't been here all day? No. Well, he started for school at the usual time. I'd better see what's happened to him. them holler spaces between your ribs. What do you call this? Mulligan. Hobos would rather eat mulligan than anything. 
How do you make it? Well, first you gotta find yourself a tin can. And then go out and catch anything that walks or crawls. Come on. Eat up right to the bottom of the can. Well, I am... I'm not very hungry. Hobos are always hungry. A good hobo never leaves any food. Do I have to? Why, it's part of your test of being a hobo. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll finish eating later. Now, seeing as the three of us, including that hobo horse, we're gonna need plenty of food. We better get an early start and find some. Well, couldn't we just buy something? Oh, no. A hobo just eats anything he can put his hands on. Not stealing, mind you, but we don't spend money foolishly either. I wouldn't know what to look for. Rabbits mostly, but those nice fat lizards, they're almost as tasty. Oh, uh, anything that walks or crawls is food now. You keep your eyes peeled. He's missing. I've been looking for him everywhere. Have you seen him? Well, not since this morning when I took him to school. He never went in. What a little character. He must have gone to the hobo camp after all. Hobo camp? Yeah, come on, I'll show you. Packy would never part with his compass unless he's forced to. Maybe he accidentally dropped it. Not him. He's never lost a thing he collected. There's only one answer. That hobo made Packy go with him. Gosh, Mr. Lambert, there's no telling which way they went or how long ago. The ground's too hard to leave any tracks. I know. I'm going to call the sheriff. Oh. These old cloud hoppers of mine feel like boiled lobsters. One of these days, I'm gonna trade these air-conditioned socks for an old-fashioned pair. Ain't got no holes in them. My feet are kind of tired, too. Well, your feet are bound to get tired, especially when you ain't got no home or a nice hot bath to soak in. It's us hobos, we don't need a home. Mother and father always pester us to take a hot bath. Do a lot of other things we don't want to do. We sure don't. Because I don't remember much about my mother and father, except the way she used to carry on when I was about your size, especially when I ran away from home and was brought back. My, how she'd cry. Then she'd tuck me in, nice and warm. I guess I was just born to be a hobo. As I played hooky from school one day, and I just never did come back home. You mean you never saw your mother and father again? Oh, hobos don't need mothers and fathers, especially when she's always crying with a broken heart because her son was smart enough to join the hobos. Of course, I, I have heard of fathers and mothers that didn't give a hoot about what their sons did. Like yours, I suppose. They give a hoot, all right. At least they used to until yesterday. Well, that's the way it happens. All of a sudden, fella comes home, father gives him a licking, and his mother locks him up without any supper for no reason at all. That's not what happened. They just don't love him anymore, that's all. Well, now, say, it takes a pretty smart fella to figure that out. How'd you do it? All the other kids in my school are bringing their mothers and fathers to visiting day. Mine won't go, even after I begged him and told him how important it was. As one hobo to another, you're doing right hitting the road. Let him worry. Let him suffer about whether you're alive or dead. That'll teach him a lesson. 
I wouldn't want them to suffer. Why? You never have to see them again. Never. Now, come on, there's a freight train we got to catch. Freight train? Yeah, we've been here long enough. A couple of days, a freight train will have us a thousand miles away from here. Well, you better say goodbye to Lucky. But you said he could join the hobos, too. Oh, well, he'll have to resign. Hobo or not, he's still a horse. <laughs> he can never learn to ride the rods. It's OK with you. I'd like to resign, too. You can't resign. You took an oath. Yeah, but I don't want to go anywhere without Lucky. Well, now, that's bad. That's real bad. In all my days, I never knew anybody to resign from the hobos. I haven't been a hobo very long. Neither is Lucky. I don't want my mom and dad worrying about me. Besides, I'm getting to miss them something awful. Well, you know, of course, that... Uh, uh... If you break your oath, you can never join the hobos again. I don't care. <laughs> well, I had kind of an idea you was a softie. Now go on, beat it. Thanks, Bones. What now? You're not sore, are you, Bones? Oh, of course not. Live and let live. That's my motto. Here. You can use this more on me. Oh, go on. I don't need your money. You need a good meal. Not that they're mulligan junk in tin cans. Get yourself a pair of shoes and socks without holes. Bye, Bones. Thanks again, Bones. What did you do with Chris, it? Answer me! Chris. If anything happens to Packy, I'll kill you! He's off, Chris. Let the sheriff handle this. Where's Packy Lambert? He fell over a cliff. I was going for help. Where? Where is he? Oh, over that way. Mr. Lambert! It's Packy's. You murder each other! Oh, now, now the law will take care of this. Now lead the way. Possible to get down there on foot. What are we going to do? We just can't leave him down there. No, we've got to have some mountain climbing equipment. Forest rangers have got some. I'll go get it. Yuri! Yuri! There he is! A 
I'll try to follow him. Your daddy has me pegged as public enemy number one. He's no enemy. He's my friend. I even gave him four dollars for a present. If there's anything I can do to make amends, a job or some extra money. Ain't nothing I can use besides this except a little kindness and understand. Packy already give me that. Might be a bad idea, though. If you ain't too busy to remember the boy needs kindness and understanding, too. A lot more than you or me. Especially Miss Folks. Bye, Peggy. So long, Bones. Proud as an eagle, isn't he? Would you sign our book, please? Good evening. Hi, Miss Slater. I told you I'd bring Mom and Dad. And I'm delighted to see them. Thank you. I'll show you around just as soon as you've signed our book. Be glad to sign it. Tonight and on every visiting day. Good evening. Packy, I'd like to talk to some of the parents. Would you take over as host and make sure that everybody signs our book? Yes, Miss Slater. Fine. Please sign our book. Hey, Joey, what happened to visiting day at the high school? We just wanted to make sure you were in school. <laughs> I'm the host. Sign our, or, uh, please sign our book. <laughs> hey, host, your guests are coming through the windows. <laughs> 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 